This is the Ultimate Charlotte Hornets Summer League Preview. Firstly, let's familiarise you guys with the Hornets Summer League roster. The roster consists of Nick Richards, Mark Williams, Bryce McGowans, Leandro Ball, Justin Manaya, Scotty Lewis, Jalen Crutcher, JT Thor, Cameron McGriff, Kai Jones, LJ Figueroa, Brady Manick, Tyshawn Alexander, and Isaiah Whaley. Let's run through a little bit on each of these players. Okay, so Nick Richards, a centre, seven foot tall. He's been on the roster of the Charlotte Hornets for two years now, and this is most likely going to be his last season unless he really shows something. So, Summer League is definitely going to be big for Nick this season. We've got Mark Williams, the Charlotte Hornets number 15 pick in this year's draft. So, it's going to be really interesting to see how he plays in Fears in Summer League. Bryce McGowan's the number 40 pick in the draft who the Charlotte Hornets traded up to get. Leangelo Bull, brother of Lomelo, uh, currently in health and safety protocols. I'll talk more about that later. Justin Manaya is a 6'7 forward out of Providence. Scotty Lewis, the Charlotte Hornets second round pick from last year. Scotty's a super athletic guy with real defensive capabilities. Gonna need to show some offense though this summer league if he wants a real shot at making the the 15-man roster or a two-way spot. Jalen Crutcher is a good 6'2 guard that performed pretty well in Greensboro last year, so we'll be staking his claim for a spot in the actual Charlotte Hornets roster. JT Thor, a second round pick from the Charlotte Hornets 2021 draft. Another def- exciting defensive prospect for the Hornets. Herb Jones-esque, I feel. A bit different, we know, but really good defensive capabilities. Offense lacking a bit, but it's going to be interesting to see how that offensive game has developed and how he can showcase it in Summer League this year and really see if he has a spot in the Charlotte Hornets rotation come the start of the season. Cameron McGriff is a 6-7 forward who last season averaged 12.3 points a game for the Greensboro Swarm and 5.8 rebounds. Kai Jones, a very exciting athletic prospect that all Charlotte Hornets fans hope is the truth and come the start of the season is making it in the rotation for significant minutes. So Summer League will definitely be a big test to see where Kai really is. LJ Figueroa is a 24-year-old 6'6 guard. Brady Manick is a 6'7 forward out of North Carolina. Tyshawn Alexander is a 6'3 guard out of Creighton. And Isaiah Whaley is a 6'9 forward out of Connecticut. One name you might have been surprised not to see on that list is James Booknight, the Charlotte Hornets first round pick from last season, who a lot of fans wanted to see play a lot more. And the summer league was going to be huge for him, but he's having surgery, unfortunately, on his right pinky finger. So he's going to miss summer league. So now for some Leangelo ball news. He got placed in the health and safety protocols on the 5th of July. And if he spends five days in the health and safety protocols, he might just be able to get out in time for the Charlotte Hornets second game. So that would be very good for Leangelo ball. Now, let's get to the schedule. So... On Friday the 8th of July, the Charlotte Hornets take on the Indiana Pacers. On Sunday, July 10th, the Charlotte Hornets will take on the Los Angeles Lakers. July 13th, on Wednesday, the Charlotte Hornets will take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. On July 14th, on Thursday, and the Charlotte Hornets will take on the Chicago Bulls. Let's now take a closer look at some of the rosters that the Charlotte Hornets will be facing. Firstly is the Indiana Pacers who have Benedict Matherin, Chris Duarte, Dwayne Washington Jr., Taylor, Isaiah Jackson. They are the main ones that we're going to need to look out for. So moving on to the Los Angeles Lakers. A popular name, Scottie Pippen Jr., Sharif O'Neal, but no one else really of note. So now on to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs have Ochai Abaji the brother of Evan Mobley, Isaiah Mobley, but no one else really of note. Then moving on to the Chicago Bulls, who really only have Dale and Terry for me, no one else really of note again. So realistically, how many games do I think the Hornets can win? 
I think we have the talent to win at least three games. I think we can definitely beat Chicago, Cleveland, Los Angeles. The Indiana game is going to be a bit closer, however, for me at least. But you know what? I'm going to predict that the Charlotte Hornets win all four games. So now it's time for the three things that I'm looking for in at least the first game of Summer League against the Pacers. So, firstly, is Kai Jones noticeably stronger? Now, number two, does Mark Williams look like he belongs? Number three, who out of JT Thor and Scotty Lewis will impress me more? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and it provided you some interesting details for the Hornets' upcoming Summer League campaign. Make sure to check out the review of the first Charlotte Hornets Summer League game against the NR Pacers, where I'll review the three things that I'm looking for and the game itself. Thanks for listening.